Thank you once again for coming through, much appreciated. Uh, remember, leave your comments below for all the videos. I will try and get back to some of the comments. If you haven't subscribed yet, please hit that subscribe button. And for those that are coming back to watch another video, again, much appreciated, guys. I really do appreciate um, you guys watching any video I do, some of which aren't great, but I do try. All right, um, this is huge news to me. Huge boxing news, I think. Eddie Hearn and Matchroom, as many people might know, have decided to enter the American market. Remember, Matchroom has solely just been a UK promoter, really. Um, they had the odd fighter from outside the UK, but remember, they signed Lewis Ortiz for a two or three fight contract recently when he fought Malik Scott and Dave Allen, so they've done it before. But them actually entering the American market to compete with the likes of Golden Boy and Top Rank and Al Heyman is big, big news for me. And I think um, their first signing shows how competitive and how aggressive they're going to be in the market. According to Boxing Scene, I just read this on Boxing Scene right now, Matram have signed Danny Jacobs. Danny Jacobs will fight under the Matram banner and his first fight will be televised on HBO. An opponent hasn't yet been named, obviously, but that's huge news. And it's even bigger news because Danny Jacobs was rumoured to be fighting under the Showtime banner. He was supposed to be one of the main undercard fights for the big heavyweight clash between Lewis Ortiz and Deontay Wilder. So you know for a fact the offer that Matram has made to secure him to Matram and HBO must have been a very, very good one. Um, I think it's a big signing. I think it shows how aggressive Matram is going to be. Danny Jacobs is a big name in boxing. Um, he's only lost once or twice, sorry. Um, controversially, some people think to Danny to Golovkin, sorry, recently. But he's now, especially with that Golovkin performance, he's now a big name signing for me. Um, he's only 30, so they're going to be targeting a few big fights for him. You know Eddie Hearn does get the big fights. So that's interesting. So first signing for Matchroom as they take their big first steps into the American market is Danny Jacobs. Trust me guys, after that Golovkin performance, Danny Jacobs, who really is almost like a free agent, would have been... He would have been getting offers from everyone, put it that way. Golden Boy would have made, made an offer, top rank, Al Heyman, everyone would have made an offer. He's chosen to sign with Matchroom. That's huge. That is absolutely huge. And I think that Matchroom are going to cause a lot of problems for big promoters in America. Um, I feel like boxing promoters in America are just stuck in the mud. Honestly, stuck in the mud. And I think what Matchroom does in terms of the big fights, Danny Jacobs would have seen Andy Joshua versus Vladimir Klitschko 90,000 Wembley Stadium. He would have seen this. And unfortunately, no American promoter can do that. None. None right now. So I feel like it's a big move. It's a statement, and I think um, I'm, I'm proud of Eddie Hearn, like he's my son or something, but I'm proud of that move, and I think we're going to see some more, more signings. Uh, it's not going to be, I don't think expect it to be anything like what our Heyman done in terms of all the signings, but I think it could be something like that. Eddie Hearn would have got contract dates with HBO, I'm um, sorry, um, dates with HBO in terms of fight, fight dates, and he's going to be trying to fill all those fight dates with quality fights, or at least quality names, put it that way. Um, interesting. So Danny Jacobs, the first son of many, is now a match room fighter. Wow. 